Well, I have some interesting memories about the gospel. Uh, in Juma, that was Congo, where I was with the novices way back in the beginning. There were maybe 150 villages that the parish was serving. And we had Jesuit fathers at that time. And they would go from village to village to village. It was admirable, very hard work. And so when it was time for the sacraments, like marriage and uh, baptism, yeah, bab we did. We did baptisms. Uh, we prepared for First Communion. We prepared for marriages and so forth. And so we would go, when a village was ready, we would go for four days and do like a little retreat for the whole village. And we'd have the little children together that were preparing their First Communion. And then the adults that were preparing their marriages and they would be taught separately. And then there'd be the big, big, big mass on Sunday and the priest would come for those sacraments. And I'll admit that that was one of those. There were 18 marriages and <laughs> at once. <laughs> and oh, maybe, 60 or so first communions. There were a lot, a lot of going on. And so father would take each couple at a time for their marriage. And at one point, one of the women, he asked her if she would take this man to be her uh, husband. And she said, no, I do not want him. <laughs> and so So I don't know how, maybe she was pressured into getting married and that's the only way she could get out of it. But I admired her, but that's the only time in my life I've ever seen that happen. Anyway, those uh, times, those four days in the villages were always interesting. In the evening, we would go outside with the people and they would sing and dance and tell stories, and uh, I learned a lot of things in those times. And we would go, four of us, uh, one, the one in charge was an older uh, Congolese sister, and she would do the adults and the, the big things. And then the, I would go along with the novices, a couple of novices and they would prepare the children for first communion and so forth. Anyway, um, that was, let's say, a gospel experience for me. And I remember that as something very precious in my, well, let's say my more or less beginning experiences. 